Uh, I think so. If we uh, see what has been happening, uh, like from last year, uh, Mr. Velinkar has been attacking Saint Francis Xavier uh, in, on a big way. Whether it is saying that his DNA or his body is not right, he's not the saint or whatsoever. I think so. Mr. Velinkar should, uh, you know, think before he speaks. He is not only hurting a lot of uh, the sentiments of the Christian community in Goa, but uh, in Mumbai and all over the world. Because Saint Francis Xavier is just not a Goitzo Sai, but he is known and recognized all over the world. And people are booking their tickets and flying down for the you know third December feast, which is going to happen uh, this year. Now he bringing up this whole topic of DNA. I don't know why. Uh, I think so. Just to give a brief to everyone, when anyone is ordained a saint, there is a lot of process and procedure which follows, and no one has just been called a saint. Even when Mother Teresa was, uh, you know, termed as a saint, there had to be a protocol which had to be followed. So I'm sure and I'm definite that uh, we, as the Roman Catholics, know our rights of the process before we term something. So Mr. Velinkar just coming up and saying, you know, a DNA test has to be done, uh, you know, for whatever reason it is. I do not understand he should refrain because he is creating a lot of anger among the Catholics. And as the CM said, that he will not tolerate anyone speaking bad about any religion. And I think so this act, he, Mr. Uh, the CM should directly inform Mr. Velinkar to stop this right now and stop creating this chaos. If he has a problem with anything with our Catholic origin, we have a bishop. At Altin, we have a center where if he, if he has a doubt or a query, he should put in an application and ask, like, this is what I have a problem with, can you give me a reply? And I'm definite, like, uh, you know, from the Archbishop Palace, he will get a reply. But making it like like a mockery, just going out to the, uh, you know, to the media, gathering people, when they don't know, they don't clue about uh, St. Francis Xavier and what is his origin and how much he has contributed towards Goa and why he is called the saint of Goa and you know like going so sad why is he called that there is a particular reason and to see this that uh, you know not sorry to say but uh, a Hindu person you know commenting on a Catholic religion if we have a problem I think so we Catholics should question our Catholic faith whatever it may be the thing but someone else from other religion should not comment because we have our beliefs, we have our respect and I think so that should be kept aside. And I think so as much as I respect all my brothers and sisters from the other religion, I do not interfere. But commenting something also gets us very angry and upset. And Mr. Velinkar, seeing your age, if you see today everyone commenting, everyone's cursing you right now from the Catholic faith and you know your family and everyone saying that how you can speak like this. I think so now is the time for you to just retire, relax yourself and not comment. If you have a thing, please go to Archbishop's Palace and put down your necessary queries and I'm sure you'll get a reply. But do not make mockery of our Catholic religion because we believe in St. Francis Xavier and we are looking forward for the 3rd December feast.